Hello everyone, welcome to the Slow Why Podcast. Get... <coughs> okay. The podcast about Sakamichi series idols. Hey. hey. Nogi, Kiaki, hey. Yoshimoto, Yoshimoto Zaka, dude. Their younger uh. brother. <laughs> I'm Josh, and I'm joined by Jimmy. Hello. And Franklin. <laughs> I'm Boy, and I'm joined by Jimmy and Josh. Hey. Right? Is th- I'm hey. Jimmy and I'm joined by Boy and Josh. I'm I'm Josh and I'm joined by Jimmy and Boy. Is that right? Yeah. Wait. Who am I'm I? I'm Nogi and I'm joined by Keaki and Yoshimoto. Oh Hello. dibs on being Yoshimoto, dude. <laughs> Go for it. I'm I'm Mai and I'm joined by Kazumi and Reika. Ooh. Oh, they're gonna say Manatsu. <laughs> I'm Manatsu. Oh, okay. And I'm joined by my head. And, and I'm, jo- <laughs> and I'm and joined all. by Josh's and Oshi. Mm. Is that right? No, someone Oshi hid from Jimmy, so it doesn't count anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Know, anyways. We have started the show. Welcome, everyone. How are you? I'm well. good. I'm actually... Well, I say that, but I'm, I'm like, dying. I'm, like, really sick, actually. I'm, like, my voice is kind of kind of gross so just aren't bear with me are you gonna be are you gonna be sick for saturday yeah aren't you competing soon like, yeah sunday? This, this, uh, sunday so i don't know mm. well, well i'm gonna go and do it anyways but uh obviously there's like no choice but um yeah kind of sucks but what can you do fortunately well, right now it's more of like up here you know it's just like i'm like really phlegmy boy hmm but, uh, yeah okay well good luck oh. we'll see you saturday <laughs> i know i'll see you guys for for dinner saturday Ooh. you didn't forget right no. plans oh jimmy by the way we have plans for a video that we talked about <laughs> without you <laughs> um, that is completely that is completely not ready so who knows oh yeah we should probably start we should probably happen. start that <laughs> So we'll discuss this in the post show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make sure you guys join us live to find out what whatever Josh and Boy always have planned for me. Okay. Um, How have you guys been? Uh, all all right. I've been okay. Mm-hmm. I don't think I failed my test. That I, oh, the one that I said you were gonna get a D on. I mentioned yeah, because I was like. Screw Josh! I'll prove him wrong. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! The uh, the good vibes know. only yeah. live stream. I don't know. That was, we'll that was last week. Out. This time it's okay vibes. It's sick okay. vibes today. Yeah, sick today's vibes. like yeah vibes. Um, we'll we'll see. I'll let you know next week. Okay. Uh, I I'll send you all my my hopes and my my beliefs. Come on, come on. Um. But yeah, that's that's it. That's it. Josh, how are you? How are you? Um, same. I was on Boys live stream on Saturday or Friday. Oh, yeah. I have another show. If you didn't know, Josh came. And if you don't know, now you know. Our usual co- uh, co-host is in Japan. Mm-hmm. So Josh came in a fill in. Mm-hmm. We watched the Nogizaka music video. Mm-hmm. We reacted uh, to it. Synchronicity. Who knows if you're gonna see it? Uh, Thanks, been, Sony. They've, they've been cracking down on the copyright stuff lately, so it's gonna be pretty difficult to do those things now. Or you could just look at the stream archive, right? Stream archive is uh is only there for like two weeks, though. Oh so. well, there you go. If you're listening to this, it's you, at, uh, you yeah. still have time. <clears throat> That's your limited Twitch, time. Twitch TV slash. BS, GS, BKHTS. This gets baguettes. Go, go check it out. But, uh, yeah. Tonight, what do we got for some topics? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what we got. Ooh. Topics, what do we got, boy? Not that much, actually. Pretty <laughs> oh. slow news week this week, I gotta say. Mm-hmm. Oh, word. Uh, but first off, that horse, <laughs> Captain... <laughs> Suga Yuka is getting a photo book. Ah, what? Mm-hmm. Where's Did Risa's you... photo book, man? <laughs> Damn. I think Get last you said that Risa was going to be next, right? Or something like that? Get out of here with this 
garbage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like Sugayuka. She was almost my Oshiman, but mm. didn't make it. So, uh, you know, everyone's favorite horse lady mm -hmm. captain is getting a photo book. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be released June 5th. Mm -hmm. And it was shot in France. Like in November, I think. Uh, sometime in last year. Which um, I think I think, I think think they were busy during that time. So she's like, I'll just go to France for a week. Yeah. Later, nerds. <laughs> the uh, Twitter has already been started. It's at Uuka underscore Paris. There Yuka. are two U's in, in Yuka, if you did not know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a post with a message from her in there. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. And these articles are saying, like, ooh, she has, like, a swimsuit on and lingerie. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we, we could thank Sam for, for the Twitter handle. Oh, uh, Milady. I don't know if I'm ready. We got, really got a couple previews. No, that lewd stuff yet, though. But, uh, no. Okay, we'll of course, there's a, <laughs> we'll show them real quick. There's a picture of her with a horse, of course. Not not to disappoint, mm -hmm. you know. Because she, she already knew what everybody wanted. And that was that mm. equestrian photos, dude. Mm. There's one with uh, the Eiffel Tower in the background, just in case you didn't believe them. Mm -hmm. You mean that's not the Tokyo uh, Tower? Uh, nope. It's just a backdrop. Some... Like two dudes are gonna like walk <laughs> yeah. it off like a cartoon. Uh, and you know some other French landmarks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, what are you, what are, you, are your expectations, friends? Um, you want something lewd or no, oh, lady? I want. I want the. Lewd. Please. I, I want classy lewd. I, I, I want no. Classy I want lewd. I want like dirty, like I like, want like uh, what is it like? Other group Sashiha Reno's newest photo book, you know, like Scandal Chudoku, like grimy. So, it's, so you want like oh, okay, a grimy? Oh, okay, that's what you're going for. Okay. So if you want like pure Lou, then you can look at Katarenas too. Oh, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I just a... want her like in a bikini riding a horse. How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? I'd accept that. Because everyone expects like the nice Paris Ojo Sama, right? What about like the dirty ghetto slums <laughs> of Paris, dude? <laughs> Yeah, because the slums of Paris exist, right? And they do, like, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Because like, I just believe. have her in there. That's, cause, like, that's like why everyone gets all depressed and stuff, because they think that like, Paris is all that nice part like, that you always see. In the, There's, it's an actual like, yeah, psychological condition that's only for Japanese people or whatever. Not only for Japanese people, but it happens most with Japanese people, right? Because Japanese people has this perception of Paris that's like... Mm. Mm -hmm. You know how how they see it on TV and media and, and whatnot, and then when they get there, it's like, uh, no, there's a it's lot like, of, yeah, uh, so it's like LA, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I want like, like Sugai with like really thick on like eyeliner and stuff like that, just in like some dirty slum somewhere, holding like a baguette, just like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My lady, no. <laughs> Please. Just has a picture of a horse instead. Like, just to no, show how well versed she is, you know? We all know she mm, can be the, the Ojo-sama, but, like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, pristine and prim and proper. Yeah, dude, don't you, don't you then, want... Don't you want, like... The gap? <laughs> <laughs> but then she's actually, like, some ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's, like, in a red light district and some, like... <laughs> fishnet like 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 uh stockings all her lipsticks all smeared yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like eat some money comes <laughs> like music video just, yeah just she like has that. that image uh, lady, no i'm, I'm, I'm just kidding yeah yeah I'm, I'm, I'm... But, but in reality it's just gonna be her vacation home that's in, that's in paris <laughs> <laughs> we all know that you yeah. yuka can afford the nice part of paris dude i just i just want to see like a rich person's vacation that we i can never afford mm -hmm. <laughs> like oh my god look at her she's like skiing and shit like you know yeah dude uh, a two shot with the Mona Lisa at the <laughs> right because it's Blue, always right? packed. There's mm. right, there... but she's so rich that she <laughs> she yeah, was she, able she, to get one really close. Herself, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine they had a budget for this photo book. She's like, "Now nah, I'll just double it real quick." Yeah. <laughs> she's like, "Oh, no worry, I'll pay for it. I, I got it." Yes. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my lady. <laughs> that, that's how she skipped the line and was able to get, like, before they send everyone. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. how they're uh, they're able to, like, make sure there's no one in the background of her Eiffel Tower shot, dude. They, they, they <laughs> uh-huh. just closed off the Eiffel Tower to everybody else. This guy, Yuka, can shoot her photo book. Dude. It's a bunch mm-hmm. of, like, security dudes in suits. Mm-hmm. Please. This yeah. is uh, off lit off. Yeah. Oh, but anyway. and OG-san in a, in a helicopter with a sniper ready. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Hovering over. <laughs> um, but, yeah. June 5th, guys. I'm looking forward to it. I, I actually think she's really pretty. So, right? Me too. I'm well, sure see, most people, yeah. I hear the helicopters of her, of her butler overhead. Yeah, my bad. Dude. They're ready with a sniper. They, they <laughs> heard, they're already <laughs> spilling the beans on, a, yeah. on her photo book, dude. They're like, how dare you expose my Sugai-sama's uh, ghetto ratchet get, get away. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to mute myself. Feel free to carry on until this okay. helicopter goes away. Yeah, I'll I'll get it, dude. I like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll pick it up for sure. So look out for those photo book yep. uh, review thingies. June whatever. 5th. That's when the photo book comes out. June oh, 5th. wait, now there's a helicopter in mine. Wait. Oh, damn, how they travel so fast between both of your locations. Uh, Can you guys still hear it in mine? God damn it, G-san. G-san, <laughs> please. I was just joking. I didn't know. I'm sorry. There, there are helicopters flying over Jimmy and Josh's place. Yeah, this is uh, this is when uh, we reveal that, that Josh and I are, are roommates. <laughs> That's their neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I just walk in his room. Hey, yeah. what's up, bud? <laughs> you doing the show? <laughs> I mean, like, the best reveal. <laughs> just in the background. Hey, what's up? Dude, the best reveal would be that like we're all in the same room right now. <laughs> we're on the, house. the cameras. We just cropped up perfectly. <laughs> it's like is it the center and they're just splitting up to different things. Damn, yeah, that's see, some dank soundproofing, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's amazing. I got, I got a bunch of uh, I got like a little foam box around my mic right now. You know. <laughs> Let me just put a sock over mine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Sugayuka, June fifth photo book recess. Please next. Give me that Sheeta, dude, please. Give me something. Because evidently, she wasn't there for Kieki Izaka's second anniversary live. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Yeah, she wasn't there. Oh, man. Yeah, no, but it was, uh, it was their second anniversary live this, uh, was it past, past week? week? Yeah. Yep. Weekend. Um, three days at where? Saitama Super Arena? Is that yeah, I think so. Yes, sir. Um,. Yeah, Sheeta wasn't there because like she was sick or, or something like that. Something and so wait, no, it wasn't at Saitama. It was at that like sports complex. Oh yeah, yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, my, my bad, yeah. my bad, my bad. But Sheeta um, was something, some sort of medical thing. <laughs> health, just like everyone reasons. else. Health, yeah. health reasons. Yeah, health reasons. Yeah. Um, so I'm sick right now, dude. Was at the pool. We're we're synced. Mm-hmm. It's, like, just... it's like your periods are together, right? Yeah. <laughs> we both get colds at the same time. <laughs> Techi, who knows what she's up to? Um, but it seemed like it was a successful concert. Mm. They uh, switched around a lot of the center positions. Mm-hmm. Um. There's that one picture that's going around with Sugai Sama turning Super Saiyan. Have you seen that? Yeah, like she centered Fukuyo on, right? Yeah. And like, I don't know, dude. She was going ham. She was like, <laughs> there was a bit like a lot of intensity and shit mm-hmm. in, in those pictures. I was like, my lady, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a preview for the photo book. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was like the, the people trying to record. The Boku Ayada and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, that I saw. Um, but yeah. Everyone everyone's wearing the red jackets now for Grasso Ware, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like, oh, we're all centers now. <laughs> but now the one who sticks out is the one that wears the black. <laughs> Someone just in the back, like, yeah. <laughs> let me just switch you real quick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there was a lot of centers. It wasn't just like one person replacing Techi's position. Mm-hmm. And so I thought. So does that, that mean cool. they had a ro- does that mean they have to rotate the person who was there? 
and like change the whole lineup. Mm-hmm. It seems like they've been doing that um, since Garasu Iwata came out. Getting their adaptability up. And they were like, oh, whoop. Oh, man, this this freaking Aozora Tomeri picture is cute, dude. Yeah, but it's it's empty. It's it's not There's filled, only four dude. of them. <laughs> Narigatari Nakata, my dude. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, where's the one Yankee looking one, dude? <laughs> <laughs> She's sick, dude. She's sick. Come on, Jim, you should know. You got a cold too. Take my strength. Take what I have left. I don't. I don't need it for this weekend. As long as, as long as you're better. Yep. Um, <laughs> the power lifter can't lift up the bar. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he gave his strength to his Oshi. What a true sacrifice. <laughs> I think I like I I actually want to see this uh, whole concert. Yeah, maybe as soon as Kiyakizaka starts giving out concert Blu-rays because of the uh, just how they they switched up the center positions. Yeah, it should be really interesting. To see. Yeah, it actually seems like everything looks different, right? Like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It'll be a very fresh take on some old classics. Also, old. they they do full songs and like Nogizaka. Mm. So. The so what, they did, they did like ten songs. Well, the set list for the the last day was twenty four songs, so the concert was probably like two to three hours. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I like that. They had a double encore. So the last day, uh, they ended the regular set with Fukio One, but the encore was three songs. And then the double encore was Garasu Oware, so. I appreciate the full versions. Mm. I like uh, the new outfits that they uh, they they, oh, they the, debuted, like the gray one. The gray one. Yeah, it looks like um, something straight out of like a Final Fantasy character, dude. Right, like the <laughs> the zipper all the way down the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have mm. like for the over jacket, like the the buckle, the, the little clasps. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Mm. That's cool, man. Because it's kind of like a Sailor Fuku, right? Like, where how it comes up and it comes back. Yeah, but then it like, looks that. very, like, kind of, yeah. what's that word, like? It's all them zippers. Vi- like, Japanese Gothic Victorian, you know? Like, Final Fantasy kind of stuff. It's mm-hmm. eh, it's mm. pretty rad. Yeah, also they did the Sakamichi AKB song. Mm-hmm. Which was cool. The true version. Just <laughs> the true The true version. <laughs> Just with EGK but, uh, Kizaka members. <laughs> but yeah, there's a bunch of uh, the news clips floating around, if you can find them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Second anniversary. Yep, already two years, guys. My, our, our babies are so grown now, dude. They are not, like, they are, like, not the same anymore. From the beginning? The only person who hasn't changed is Berika. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every, every like the all the girls who who I was like trying to pick as Oshiman, mm-hmm. they're like completely different from what you know what attracted mm-hmm. me to them in the first place. Mm. Yeah. I mean, even like but, half a year made a difference, especially near the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's like Sugai will probably look a little different in her photo book compared to now. I think by the time I got to like Fukio Awon, everyone was just kind of like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dio. Dio. But anyway. Mm-hmm. That's it for Keiaki Zaka. Oh. We're going to keep going to Nogi Zaka stuff. And so uh, last week we listened to the preview for Synchronicity. Mm hmm. Uh, the, Talk the to your doctor to... if synchronicity is right for you. Yep. Yeah, they released uh, the <laughs> music video. I'm sure if you're a fan of theirs, you've already seen it. Mm-hmm. But uh, what did you guys think? Jimmy? I was going to make a joke about not having seen it yet, but I watched it with you guys, so I can't... Um, we watched it. When did together. you watch it with us? We watched it together. The music video? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, we did. Oh yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> I forgot. It was us and a, and a friend of ours. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. But uh, I liked it. Um, I, I feel like a lot of people are saying that it kind of lacks a little bit of like a, an actual storyline. But I guess that's supposed to happen a little bit more in the choreography for this one, right? Because it's just a straight yeah. up dance music video, practically, right? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. it's a kind of nice barnyard whatever kind of look. I'm not exactly sure what that. So. It's like wood, right? It's like a wood, big wooden yeah. building, right? And I was thinking more like an opera house. Oh, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I, Didn't people find that place already? Probably. They found it like the, mo- the moment it came out. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's, it's it feels like very broken down and nice, which I kind of like. Um, mm-hmm. Like, uh, obviously the production's there because we got that dank Sony money, you know, and that's not really an issue with Nogizaki anymore. So they, they can do these, like, simple-looking videos without feeling cheap, you know? Mm-hmm. Very, uh, very, yeah, artsy, kind of modern dance feel to it. Mm-hmm. Yep. I I uh, it was different from what I was expecting. Um, I thought it was gonna, you know, be multiple shots, girls, and like colorful outside, mm-hmm. instead of just a straight up like performance video. Um, but I do like it. The actual choreography I think is really nice and elegant. Yeah, I mean, it like it matches Nogizaka's uh, kind of whole vibe and feel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, everyone's wearing white. They're all barefoot and like there was that whole thing about them talking about how like their feet hurt or whatever, practicing the choreography. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, you had to dance without shoes on. Yeah, dude. That's why. Have you seen? Have you seen dancers' feet, dude? They're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone always thinks of dancers' feet as like elegant and dainty because you know, mm-hmm. but it's like they're all calloused and and mm-hmm. bruised and yeah, dude. It's. No, no, Mayan's feet has to be perfect. No, dude, now, now, now <laughs> Put she's some get, shoes on. They want to some, get all the photo books out of the way for for this reason. <laughs> some 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 tough, calloused feet skin, dude. Mm-hmm. If anybody has a photo book coming out, they're all gonna have socks on now, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna what be in the bikini with the with socks on, dude. <laughs> hey, girl, what happened to your feet? Oh, well, you know, we had to do a uh, synchronicity. <laughs> I mean, we're better dancers now, but. I lost a toenail, bro. <laughs> uh, but um, the choreographer is once again Seishiro Sensei. Mm-hmm. He choreographed Influencer, um, which was also a dance performance music video. There was no story attached to it at all. It was just them looking fabulous, waving their hands around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, this time, they, they do a lot of big formation changes. A lot of big movements compared to big movements. Influencer. You know, it's like the choreography telling the story, right? It's, uh, mm-hmm. it's something I, I'd expect from Keiaki Zaka. Mm-hmm. But um, it's cool, man. Noi Zaka doing this too. It's like, hey, we could do this shit too, man. And it kind of fits too. It's not as uh, in your face with the, the story yeah. as like mm-hmm. a Keiaki Zaka choreography, right? Like a, lot mm-hmm. of the le- like a lot of the movements in Keiaki is like very literal, right? Like, Fukuon going to war, and it's like they literally make a tower and uh, and Aoi just fucking you know like yeah uh, shooting an arrow like a bow and arrow which is cool I I like it too but like in a different way this is like um, I can see why people will miss it right like it mm. kind of takes like it kind of takes multiple reads in my opinion which is nice you know anytime you can like go back and watch something again and then like take something out a little bit more out of it I always enjoy and that's a good thing about it like. Everyone has their own opinion about it. Everybody has their own outcome of it, which I guess really helps for this music video and really makes it artful because, like, art is really, like, how different people interpret things differently and talk about it. That's, like, yeah. So I think it's it's very artful in that way. Yeah, yeah, It's kind of, like, there's not much room for interpretation when it's, like, the move is, like, you know? It's, Uh like, oh, okay. And she's shooting a bow and arrow, you know? But it's, like, okay. Yeah, but if something's... but, But if it's Mayan running... Looking back and then running back, then people have different interpretations mm. of it. Yeah, it's like uh, that's one of my uh, favorite parts of the choreography. Um, there's like a lot of segments where it singles out a member. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ikoma-chan especially, right? She has like mm. that one part where she, 
Like, it's only her standing up. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, you know, she's leaving and everything, but they still give her that little... Mm-hmm. We're going to give you something. I know you're saying no to everything, but we're going to give we you something. You don't want this, but... <laughs> Take it. Take it, goddammit. <laughs> okay, you don't want to be center. You don't want a solo song. We're, we're just going to give you a special segment in the choreography. Right, and especially because, like, uh, like, she stands up and she's looking around, and it's just her, right? Mm-hmm. And so I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Since she doesn't have a song, we just have to play Nine Mono Nedari for her too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna sacrifice that song to be the the eternal crying song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so uh, yeah, they yeah. performed this live once already. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's the same. They're not wearing shoes and shit on stage, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Gonna, for, you, gonna, for you feet, Wado. <laughs> <out there. laughs> yeah, except they're gonna get all jacked up now, dude. <laughs> Give Take them while, while you can. Give them. Give me that tough, calloused feet, dude. <laughs> you gotta choose your feet, Oshiman, now. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but, uh... My, 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 my feet bottoms are gonna look like the calluses on my hands from weightlifting, dude. <laughs> get, get prepared for those no. photo books. No! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. That's it for Synchronicity. It comes out soon. Don't worry. The other music videos for the coupling tracks will also be released soon, probably. Probably like this week or next. Um, mm. They previewed all the coupling tracks already, I think, on radio mm-hmm. shows, mm-hmm. I want to say. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, from what I've heard, it sounds pretty solid uh, yeah. as a single single package. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else is coming up, man? Nogizaka is releasing... More photo books, mm. man. The Nogisatsu book, though, mm-hmm. no solos. So Nogisatsu, it's like the offshoots they take backstage. It's like uh, the other groups, like white albums and stuff like that, right? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it's it's more cute and stuff. You see members in a more casual setting. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like instead of subscribing to Moba Man, you just get this yeah, book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a is it like a weekly or a monthly thing on a magazine? That, uh, it's a it's a weekly thing. A weekly thing on a magazine that mm-hmm. on Friday use? magazine. Is it Friday? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People usually scan those or whatever and put them up. Mm-hmm. You can see them being silly and all mm-hmm. that shit. People so, translating and everything. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. All right. This is this is me prediction time. All right. I bet you that once this is all done and it's all been published. They're gonna compile it into a bigger book, and then make more money that way. You think so? But Whoa. this one says, but this one's volume one. Whoa! Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. So, but I guess it depends on like how much is in it, right? Like, yeah. but if it's like just part of a Friday magazine thing, I be, I, I want to say it's gonna be like you're eventually gonna get a collection of these later on. Well, this is the collection. It's like the individual ones are in the, are in the Friday magazine, and then oh, this, so this is, is a collection of them. Okay, I mis I'm I misunderstood. So originally, yeah, originally Friday. Okay, mm-hmm. so it is the collection. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so I guess you were right in a sense. Yeah. Oh, you are. I right. predicted what they told me, dude. <laughs> uh, it'll be released June twenty sixth. Um. By. Maybe. I'm rent. getting it. Rent. Um. Yeah, the other groups. You know what is it? White. Album, um, green, green album, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are pretty nice, but those are like a weird size. It's like mm. long. Yeah, it's like. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have. I one. hope I, I have. I have one, but I'm not. I'm not pulling it out, you nerd. We I'll censor it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I just want to like. The, just I was about the to betray si- the podcast. <laughs> just the size. Ah, oh, damn! Almost got him. <laughs> People about Close. to about to Oceanhead from you, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> to my Wait, I hope this book. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, nah, it's not. It's probably not gonna be, but I'd, I'd like it to be a regular like book size instead of like a small like pocket looking thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I, think I, I be, feel like yeah. it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be like a square. I feel like that's the best way to fit all those images in. Yeah. You you guys remember that other the other group's fashion book? It's oh. like all their. You know, Kyo no Coordinate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like a really thick book, but it's like a, a size of like a notebook. 
Right? It's it's like this big, maybe smaller than this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was expecting like a full size. Yeah, like like like, like a. Right. And I was like, oh yeah, like that's that. cool. I get to see you know the their casual clothes. But, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. I'm I'm hoping for this one to be fairly a, a good size. At least. It's it's weird whenever bigger members get like small photo books and like lesser known members get like huge photo books. Like I'm I'm sure it's up to the publishing. Like, Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. but I mean, if it's bigger, oh, I guess I guess if it's smaller and they could sell more of them, they might as well just keep it small, right? Yeah, and spend yeah. less on cost. Yeah, yeah. It's like some of the pictures on the like regular magazine magazines. They're like really small, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, yeah, what's going on over here? I can't yeah. see. <laughs> but yes, yeah. yeah, so hopefully, we'll, I don't think it'll be like one one image per page. It'll probably be like a collage. Maybe yeah, like a, yeah. Or, if they'll probably just, do it like or one page a image week, and then like, like a wall of text surrounding it, explaining the context and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like this small. Oh, that's appreciated because like, uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. what the hell's going on over here? Oh, mm. Look at it. Um, Look at how weird the Ringo is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this goofy face. <laughs> Should I? She's making <laughs> that chew uh, face, yes. dude. <clears throat> I almost kissed my screen. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> but uh, anyway, more topics. Ikoma Arena's graduation concert, Ooh. which is the 22nd of April. I will have the live viewing stuff. Oh, yeah, you can go to your local theater. Oh, hey, guys, let's go to our local theater. Yeah, dude. Here. I'm going to go to... Down the street. AMC Mission Valley, dude. <laughs> Yep, and watch Nogizaka perform. Mm-hmm. No, only in Japan, man. Shit. Oh, man, you almost had me. Almost. I almost got you twice. You almost got me. Uh, 36 are, bucks? 3,600 yen. Oh, my goodness. Does it come with concessions? <laughs> no, dude. It comes with t- <laughs> history. I would totally like... Dude, it should, it should come with that with a handkerchief. Oh man, I'd, I would totally buy like a large popcorn watching Nogizaka. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Hey! I'm throwing in the air. Oh, it's, it's so cool, dude. What's the song where, where they all raise their towels like at the same time? That's Harash this summer. No, but they just do that with the popcorn. Hey! hey. <laughs> it's just like really do, everywhere. Do, do, do. They need to go back to like streaming stuff. Once again, mm-hmm. but, they're too good for that now, dude. They're gonna, they're like, oh, yeah. why would we do it for free? Right. When you no, can pay like, thirty six hundred yen, dude. There's <laughs> a yeah, Nico, yeah. Nico Doga. Oh, like uh, the subscription live. service. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's true. That, yeah, but- that would be appreciated too, for your overseas fans that can't attend, <laughs> or even like Abema or something, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, what happened to trying Come to be on, more man. global? You were doing so good. <laughs> yeah, man. Come you, you on. Think we don't want to Come care on, about man. watching Ikoma-chan. I care a lot about Ikoma-chan. <laughs> just, just set up a sign-up sheet of, like, every country, and then, like, we'll all sign up, and then you see where to put it in specific theaters. Oh, they could have done, like, pulled the data from that Nogichu episode where people voted about um, on their... Was that their songs? The top songs? Mm-hmm. Like, look at all the majority of the votes came from the United States. Let's show Ikoma Chan's graduation concert. Yeah, like they could do one at in... the AMC. <laughs> <laughs> but see, because I mean, I can. It's like, because like all of Japan is would be like closer to comparing all of like the West Coast and stuff, right? So right. it's like. It's easier to do, like, okay, a few select spots here, or, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, And then it's like, okay, well, people are willing to make that that drive or that trip to... That commute to go to their local theater and watch it. Like, you'd you'd be able to do, what, two here, ideally? like I think three. Yeah, like, Los Angeles, New York. L.A., New York, and Texas. Yeah. Texas. Or I'd say say Bay Area. Yeah, Texas has has a big big, uh, other group and 46 following. Um... Yeah, just ba- just based on my analytics, <laughs> that's what I'm basing it on. I would say, uh, LA, SoCal, Bay Area, New York. That's mm. that's where all the Japanese artists go. Yeah, 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 like they only hit those three spots mm-hmm. usually. 
So, no love for the Midwest like, or the South. Like, I, obviously, I wouldn't mind because, like, okay, LA, I could just make, I'll, I'll make that drive. It's not no biggie to watch an Ogie Zaka concert. But like, if you're like, yeah, in like Montana or something, right? Or like, oh. I mean, if it was live, then I'd go. To- <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, but like, for for a, th- a theater streaming, uh, like, like, nah, I'm good on that, dude. Maybe that's why they didn't do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's because, like, yeah, it'd be... America's kind of, like, a very, like, distance-wise large country. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just do the live stream. Sad. Sad. But... Did you have, like, Nogizaka live stream, like, on their own platform? Mm. Damn. Yeah, yeah, do or their... at least do a... You know, do a contract or whatever, just like they did it with forty-six hour TV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Six different, five, six different streaming platforms were like, "Yes, mm-hmm. let's get you on." So, YouTube probably didn't say that. They probably just said, "Okay, everyone's gonna be on YouTube anyway." <laughs> yeah, since they have a channel already. So, mm-hmm. but anyway, uh, we got some news from the Sailor Moon stage play that Nogizaka is gonna star in. We talked about this a while ago, right? Do, 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 do. To, do, do, yeah. do, do. Um, so there's this going to be a this huge Sailor Moon like anniversary type musical thing ne- right. next year. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like several different things happening, <clears throat> and Nogizaka is part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so they were doing a uh, stage play, and um, oh, it's for the 25 years. Mm-hmm. And I think they're um, part of one day of it yeah, or something like out of the week. Yeah, they're part of it, and so the the stage play will take place uh, in two month, two months, two different months. Mm. So there's a um, there's one in June from the eighth to the twenty fourth, and there's one in September from the twenty first to the thirtieth, mm. um, and um, they split into two. So it's a double casted this this play, and there are two different casts with um, just the just the the Sailor Moon and her friends. What the hell are they called? The Sailor Sa- Sailor Scouts, Sen- dude. Scouts. My bad, dude. I was I was thinking of the, uh, the original of Japanese the, uh, way Japanese name. <laughs> My bad. I watched Yu Gi Oh instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Um, but I think it's just that, like the other cast, like Tuxedo Mask and and them. It's gonna be the same. Are the same people. Mm. It's gonna be the oh, same. Oh, okay. Anyway, there's Team Moon and Team Star. I'm not sure if uh, they are doing like the two months, different months, or not. Uh, or if they're just gonna alternate or something. Or yeah, if they're just gonna alternate mm. days. Um, but I'm I'm sure the alternating one seems more viable for them. Mm-hmm. Cause then it's it's like a two week play. Yeah. Maybe they'll do one week as them, the other week as other. Yeah, like know. for for each uh, month that it's gonna run, mm-hmm. it's it's about like two weeks, right? Or maybe the other or, people... or a week or two. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so they might alternate days. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause the the June one is longer than the September one. Mm-hmm. So anyway, the cast. <clears throat> from Team Moon, Sailor Moon is Yamashita Mizuk. Oh, so good. Just, the Zuck, dude. Cause, the you know, Mizuk? The her Mizuk? Because her name? Um, right. Oh, oh, Beautiful so Moon, dude. Mm-hmm. You, you casting yeah. people. Uh, the other team is Team Star, and Sailor Moon for Team Star is Inoue Sayuri. Mm. Which is fine by me. No right. pun here, but still good. Uh huh. Uh, Sailor Mercury for Team Moon is Ito Ridia. Mm-hmm. Team Star is Watanabe Muria. It mm-hmm. does not even look pretty- like her in the <laughs> Ito Ridia in the promo. Like, oh, I, yeah, like, I looked at it for the <laughs> longest time. I was like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> yeah, because she has long hair, you know. Mercury mm-hmm. has short hair. Mercury was my Oshi. Dude. Oh, me, me too, my dude. <laughs> oh, my dude. <laughs> Um, and then Sailor Mars, Team Moon is Kazumin, mm-hmm. and Team Star is Terada Ranze. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. 
they, they look fine. They look fine. Yeah, yeah, they look alright. <laughs> um, Taylor to Jupiter, on Team Moon is Nojo, <laughs> on Team Star is Umezawa. So good. Umezawa well, is really good as Jupiter. Mm-hmm. Right? Because Jupiter is tall. tall yeah, right? exactly. So. Got that height, dude. Mm-hmm. It looks like a stacked uh, stage play a couple months for Umezawa because the Nanatsu no Taizai oh, yeah. starts in like August or something. Mm-hmm. So. And of course, Third Gen is already doing their, their stage play too. now. So. <laughs> so she's going to be busy for a bit. Yeah. And, and I think Nojo, Nojo was busy recently with her... Yeah, Nojo also is in a play. Yeah, Nojo's in a lot of plays, actually, so it's, it's, I think she's pretty used to it. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, just another production. <laughs> uh, just put it on the list, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. <laughs> she just, like, plays the same character in all of them. <laughs> Sailor Jupiter. Uh, um, and then Sailor Venus uh, for Team Moon is Higuchi, mm-hmm. and Team Star is Nakatakana. I like Higuchi for that one. Hmm. She looks fine. Yeah, I think they both look pretty good. I know. Mm-hmm. Sailor Buenas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm I like Inoue and Umezawa's casting. I think they fit well. And Mizuka, I guess, because that's her name. So. Sorry, I'm, uh, it has nothing to do with Nogizaga itself, but I'm just I'm still kind of just laughing at. Five Japanese girls, and only one of them has black hair, dude. Only in anime, dude. Oh. All right. <laughs> Two of them are blonde. I mean, Mercury blue is the technically one, is, their hair is yeah. Oh yeah, blue. <laughs> it's like. Mm. I think she's supposed to be like. It's only like a dark tint of blue in her hair, right? But not. Mm-hmm. Not like blue. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just like search for. Like the anime. It's character. supposed to be like Sas- like Sasuke. She technically has black hair, but the highlights are blue to make it like more interesting. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's like so See? black. It's like blue. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. But then. But then, like later on, they're like, nah, let's just put a blue. Yeah, just make it blue, dude. It's not. Yeah, it's not supposed to be actually blue. It's just. Mm-hmm. Well, they just stuck with it. And <laughs> continued. It's like ah, it's fine. Let's color code our, our people. Mm-hmm. Um. So. Yeah. Seems like it should be interesting. Um, Tuxedo Mass is played, is going to be played by a model. Oh shit. I was was looking for the name. Ishii Mikako, who's played like one of the Sailor Moon characters in another stage production, I think. Mm. So some experience in that category? Oh yeah, she was Sailor Pluto. Yeah, she was Pluto. Uh, the mm. crazy one at the like the edge of the freaking universe or something. <laughs> I have I control time. Here's my staff. I don't remember Word. that. No. I didn't watch that far in, I guess. This this is like nothing related, but the the latest episode of Black Clover, they <laughs> revealed <laughs> they, they revealed the Wizard King's power, and I was like, "Oh, oh, shit. oh dude, he's so dope, dude." Uh-huh. That's why he's so strong. This isn't fair. Yeah, dude. Time. <laughs> wow, spoilers, spoilers, dude. Look. Oh, I see. I didn't. I didn't say it. Of course, it was Jimmy who said it. <laughs> Look, by the time this is out, it's already been a week. The nerds that care will have watched it by now. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's in his real name, right? Yeah, like Nova Chrono, or whatever, right? Like what is what does chrono mean? All right, hmm, hmm. What could that possibly? Uh. Anyway, but, yeah. but an aside, Jimmy brought up Pluto's power. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the stage play for Sailor Moon. Julius mm. Nova Chrono. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Nogizaka is taking part in. Uh, yep. That's probably the last time I'll. Check that out, cause we can't <laughs> do a lot it, of dude. stage plays, yeah. but like, there's no way for us to access these things. So mm-hmm. maybe pictures. I mean, I would love to see it, but I kind of want to see the third gen play that's going on right now because of the pictures. They look mm-hmm. interesting. 
And they always take like the same group picture on the stairs. Like if you check Nogizaka's uh, Twitter, mm. they're always in the same position. <laughs> Dude, please, just someone, like, someone's the staff, just set up a camera. It could just be one camera. <laughs> just give me that wide shot. It's a stage play, it's fine. You know, like, you don't have to be don't have fancy. To be changing Get... angles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to be able to watch this, please. Oh no, we need to get more cameras, you gotta get some close ups on it. I'm like, no, just give me the wide and we'll just get it get it out to us, all right? Right. We'll be as it's as if we are sitting in that seat. Mm-hmm. You know? We can't get any close ups when we're sitting there. Yeah. That's why their makeup's all like super exaggerated heavy. and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Just use that anyway. forky camera so we can zoom in ourselves. <laughs> oh okay. hell yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, that uh that's the Salem One thing the last topic we're going to talk about is Etomisa has become the new MC for a baseball show. Mm-hmm. It is called Pro Yaku News. Oh, that uh, professional baseball news. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I assume she's going to present like news topics and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Eto-san, onegaishimasu. And it like, cuts to her and she's like, thanks, Chuck. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. On to the weather. All right, like, now let's on to sports. Uh, Josh Box. Oh, she's gonna. No, because she finished, so then she says on to the weather. On to, on to the weather. <laughs> the Los Angeles Dodgers. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, it's about baseball. And baseball is very popular in Japan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A, lot of, uh, a lot of Japanese players sign on to the MLB over here and shit mm-hmm. like that. Tanaka Masahiro. Who plays for the? Where does he play for now? Yankees. I don't He's know. a Nogizaka fan. I'm gonna look that up. Everybody's Ma looking Kuhn. at him. He is, uh, yeah, on the Yankees, dude. See, he plays for Yankees. He's a Nogizaka fan. Mm. Is he though, uh, or is he someone else, dude? No, he's he's primarily a Momoiro clover. That's fan. what I thought. <laughs> but he does he's like Nogizaka, though. But he's he's a dirty <laughs> DD, but uh, yeah, he's a uh, he's a fan, and so I'm um, I'm sure this news was will also cover MLB or stuff, right? Unless it's just Japanese Japanese baseball. Maybe they they'll just cover like the Japanese players over here. Well, it says. Pro Yaku News. Yaku News, so not pro Japanese baseball news, right? Just pro in general. Yeah, apparently the show is old. How old do you think it is? Nogizaka, 46 years old. Oh my god, dude. How did you get it? So correct. (laughs) I mean, Eto Misa is only Nogizaka, 25 years old. Mm. Apparently, she also used to watch this show. The show is old enough to be her parent, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe her like dad's a baseball guy. Yeah, her, her dad watched it, and then his brother. Her brother is in baseball, like in high school or something. Mm. So that's so, like all these just combined together for her to go on the show. <laughs> Misa, go do that show. Let's get her some of that dank exposure, dude. Mm-hmm. Yes, dad. Uh, yeah. So that's the topics for the week. Mm-hmm. Told you it's a slow news week, boys. It's okay, what we is, got, uh, we got Sigai Yuka the thing? in the slums yeah. of Paris. Okay. I was gonna <laughs> ask, but I guess that's what everyone's excited about for the news or the topics this week. That horse photo book. Thank you, Paris, for right, being so. so welcoming. So the thumbnail, I'm just going to grab like one of uh, Josh's photo book review thumbnails. I'm just going to replace the, the cover with the horse. Oh, great. We already <laughs> have it. Done. Nice. I, I, I think gonna make, I got that you were going to make a Sugai Sama in like, the slums. <laughs> just make it like a thug. I was going to say that, <laughs> well, but that's way too much effort. <laughs> yeah. No, you just get a regular thug picture and then you just put her face on it, right? All right hold on. We'll see what Jimmy can do with the thumbnail. But uh, for now, that is the topics. But of mm-hmm. course, it's not the end of the show. Mm-hmm. It's time for the TV show roundup. And then the jingle plays. All right, boy. Good luck. All 
This week, there's a new show to follow. Oh, God. <laughs> I only watched one of the shows this week. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I since watched, it's, uh, it's okay. I watched all of them with you, boy. Okay, good. Thank you, Josh. Well, since this is the new show, we'll kind of go through it. Uh, a little bit more in depth. A little bit more in depth. But anyway, the new show is Hiragana Oshi Kiyakizaka. Hiragana Kiyakizaka 46. Hiragana Zaka 46 has... All of the above. Their new show. It's mm-hmm. called Hiragana Oshi, mm-hmm. and it's hosted by Audrey. Mm-hmm. And so the the show starts, and Audrey's like upstairs, and they're just like observing. Hiragana has no idea they are the MCs, mm-hmm. and so like, you know, they all enter and shit. But like, they they all wait for Kumi to go in first, dude, because she's like, she the queen the, bitch, the pseudo leader. <laughs> And Wakabe actually, oh, look, that girl. She's the leader right there, dude. <laughs> yeah, so they don't know. And then, like, they do the, the voice from above thing. And everyone, like, freaks out. Mm-hmm. So, like, Wakabayashi is asking them through the mic who they think the MC is. And uh, apparently they did a survey type thing where uh, they filled out which MC they want to see. And mm-hmm. Audrey is not in the top five. <laughs> Uh-huh. And Audrey's like, yo, what the hell is this? It's funny because Matsuko Deluxe was on there. Yes, yeah, some people put Matsuko Deluxe. Mm-hmm. And they're like, there's no way she would come host this show. What the heck? Uh-huh. I would love to see that. I think that would be hilarious. Yeah. <clears throat> but, um, anyway, they like Kasuga goes down. Um, and they do the, the silhouette thing. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, who do you think it is? Mm-hmm. He sounds like this. And everyone's like, oh, it's Sawabe. Like, yeah. His head looks bald. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of, and then he does the two pose, mm-hmm. and everyone like freaks out because by this point, they know it's a it's Audrey. Mm-hmm. So Audrey comes out, and they're like, "Ah, oh my god!" Mm-hmm. Just like they should react because it's TV, friends. Mm-hmm. And the main segment is the member profile segment, which I feel like most Hiragana Oshis or fans, I guess, would already know, right? Mm. But it's funny because Kasuga actually did his homework. He did his studying and research on each member. Uh-huh. And so he knows their nicknames and catchphrases and all that fun shit. <coughs> and uh, he actually had like a piece of paper with like, like all multiple these notes. pieces of paper, yeah. yeah he, <laughs> he was, was like, like looking through them. And so the I'm guessing the next like three episodes are just going to be member profiles. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's that Kasuga. time again, dude. First yeah, episode. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. get to know the girls because mm-hmm. uh, this episode they only got through four girls yeah like so it's 21 members yeah it's gonna, it's gonna take uh, a while but um anyway they like kasuga introduces them and they all do like a, a, a thing they're good at like tokuki waza or whatever uh ushio was first um ushio did her tongue twisters which she did the same thing on keaki te kakenai Mm-hmm. Right, I think I feel like she did. I feel like someone did it at least. Kasuga even knows her catchphrase. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ushio's the one who knows Indonesian, right? Or she lived there or whatever. Was it her or was it? Yeah, because the catchphrase is like terima kasih, terima kasih, sari Oh, okay, okay. So that's. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think her name. <sighs> terima kasih is yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Um. And so they're like, yo, you don't get along with anyone? She's like, not really. <laughs> this guy has no friends. Whatever, do your tongue twisters. Mm-hmm. And next was Kageyama. Kageyama likes soccer. And uh, it's like she actually, she knows her soccer shit. And she was like, uh, her favorite, my favorite player is Kaka when he was in AC Milan. I was like, yo, that's so specific. That guy's played for so many teams. Mm. And she's like, word. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then her 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 little showcase thing is like I'ma do the heel lift, as as they call it. It's a it's a rainbow flick or whatever, which is basically like you lift the ball behind you and it goes over your head like a rainbow. Mm-hmm. And if you do it like against a defender, right, it goes over him too. And like oh freak you out, dude. Just got worked, but uh, she tries it and she fails, and they're like. You fail. <laughs> Let's move on. They're like, wait, please, no. Let me do it again. And they had her like doing it backstage, and they have video of it. Mm-hmm. So she tries it again, and she succeeds. And they're like, ah, oh, 
Nice, nice job. You, mm-hmm. you win this round, Kageyama. You passed. <laughs> uh, next with Kakizaki, Memi. Mm-hmm. Um, her thing was like, I can say, I can say anyone's age in English. <laughs> She's like, okay, say your age. She's like, I am sixteen years old. <laughs> You're wait. No, what, she, what does she pronounce? Weird. Is it old, old that she pronounces the word? Yeah. It's it's hard for them to say old because mm. Ordo. <laughs> Ordo, right? They don't have the L. Oh. Um, yeah. So they have to do like this weird thing with their Ord. mouth. Oh, oh. Um, so Wakabayashi tells her to say Kasuga's age. Mm-hmm. How old is he? Like 30 something? 36 or something like that. He's like, he is 36 years old. <laughs> like, oh man, this is, this is like a gag and stuff. Mm. Uh, good job. Just say people's ages in English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Takase was next. <laughs> Apparently, one, one's upper. <laughs> yeah, she's she's like a duo type thing with uh, Kakizaki, mm-hmm. and they had like a special name and everything. Mm-hmm. And Takase actually knows more English, whereas Kakizaki can only say one <laughs> phrase in English. Mm-hmm, yeah, nani nani. She knows her. Old. She knows her numbers. <laughs> yeah, years yeah. old. And they're like Takase, what are you gonna do? And she's like, oh, I'll translate for Kasuga dude to English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so Kasuga's like, "Hello, my name is Kasuga, or whatever." Like in mm-hmm. Japanese, I'm a comedian. Uh, and like he says something else, and she couldn't do it. Yeah, because I think he says, I- "I'm the best comedian in Japan. I- I'm like number one or something like that." And then she's just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> "She's like, yo, what the heck, dude? You gotta, you gotta give me a second. <laughs> I haven't learned those she vocabulary had, she yet." She had to like, you know, phrase it in her head first. Yeah, yeah. Because, because I imagine he said it like in a weird order. Like he said, like in very Japanese order, and then she's like, "Oh, we wish I had to like switch things around." Yeah, dude, it's not the same sentence structure. Uh, um, yeah, it was funny. It turned out like a, a gag ish, <laughs> like a manzai duo and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was pretty funny, but yeah, that, it's just introductory stuff. That's pretty much the whole the whole episode. Next week, there's more, and probably the week after that, there's more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they gotta do the second gens too. Oh yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Because they said they're gonna do first gens first, right? Yeah. Then yeah. we gotta have Bemi Ho. Let's go. Well, they also asked Hiragana like what, uh, what what the show is called. Uh, what do you think it's called? Kumi was like Hiragana Kakiru. <laughs> yeah, I, I can write Hiragana, <laughs> which I think is a better name than Hiragana Oshi. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, dude. <laughs> they should have freaking did that because then it's a play on fucking kanji show god damn it. yeah anyway keakake is the why is oda nana so goddamn popular i don't know we'll find out this episode friends mm-hmm. and so everyone's in the studio except uh techi because techi's never there uh oda nana though is in the dressing room in the back she's like reading a book all all cool and shit they're like oh look at her um, and so they have like the six girls who, who really like her. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, Ozek, Risa, Suzumo, Neru, Koike, and Nagasawa. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they all te- like, not they all, but a few of them like, do like testimonies. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then Nagasawa Just... was like, oh, it was raining once. <laughs> yeah, dude, and so... Oda, Nana, Oda Nana held an umbrella over me, but like mm-hmm. half of her like is all wet and shit. <laughs> like, I didn't even notice until. <laughs> Like, we're at the station, and then she yeah. was like, oh, it's okay. And like, I don't <laughs> care if I get wet as long as you're okay. And I was like, dang, dude. So mad. Straight out of a shoujo manga. <laughs> Damn, dude. I think uh, if Oda Nana was a man, they would all go for her. <clears throat> dude, I'm um, a man, and I would go for man Oda okay. Nana. Okay. Huh. Man Oda Nana. <laughs> um, so, you want to say some highlights that happened throughout the episode? Anything that stuck out to you? Yeah, uh, so, like, every time someone told a story about Oranana, it would go back to her at, in the in the dressing room mm-hmm. and like she would eat a banana so by the time like they did it three times she, there's like banana peels all over the desk <laughs> and they're like oh look at that mm-hmm. uh, they finally bring her out though and there's like this giant throne oh, yeah <laughs> she looks all small in it she's like super and small. like it's so big she can't even like put her foot down on the floor mm-hmm. and, and then Shida course, can't stop laughing she <laughs> reminds her of-, <laughs> of course like Shida points it out yeah yeah like you can tell it's Sheeta laughing, even mm-hmm. though you, you don't see who it is. And she's like, it reminds me when when Betty was in was in her own uh, chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah. They also had uh, the six members that love her, like, annoy her, right? Like, they had a... Yeah, oh, yeah, they uh, do the, yeah, they did the hidden camera type thing. Mm-hmm. Like, they were all in on it. And they're like, oh, let's see if you can piss off Oranana. And they're like... The things they do, like, escalated slowly. It started from just, like, Suzumon just kind of, like, resting her arm on her head and shit. Until, like... They start messing around with their hair. We f- Let her, me with her fuck makeup. up your face before you go on to do right. a stu- like a right. was it a recording right for a show or something mm. was what they were right. like, told they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Like her makeup was already done, but like ah, oh, let's try and mess it up. And then she was fine with like the lipstick, but by the time they got to like the like the eyeliner or whatever, and she was like, "No, bitch, I don't think so." <laughs> but like her reasoning was just yeah, yeah yeah like she didn't get mad it's cause like oh yeah the makeup son freaking you know spent so much time over here you gonna mm-hmm. fuck up her work mm-hmm. I'll fuck you up okay <laughs> so she's like oh I wanna be I wanna become someone like Odanana dude someday when I grow up <laughs> she's so like tolerant with all their bullshit mm-hmm. like, oh that's why she's so popular Mm-hmm. it's like she like ignores half of them <laughs> it's like such a it's a really fun episode but it's like a big like reminder of just how bad kanji is at variety right because mm. like it's the the most entertaining parts it's like obviously the behind like the um hidden camera stuff and even though they know they're on camera this is like them like more like in the green room kind of behavior right mm-hmm. I'm like why can't you be like this on tv you know, like in the studio, all rambunctious and stuff. But then the second they're in the front, it just, ain't me. It ain't me, man. But it is though, dude. I see. I, I know, see right? That, that's the thing. It is them, yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah. especially with Hiragana Oshi being after and like them immediately reacting to stuff and like even standing up and pointing, like it shows a lot of difference between the variety game. Even though this is Hiragana's like first show, mm-hmm. and comparing it to even how Kanji is now. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people have commented on that, and they're like, "Man, Hiragana Oshi is so much better." Like, bruh, you've only seen one. <laughs> it's episode. only one episode. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, uh, I think now there's been so many memorable moments from Keaki Takakenai. Like, how are you gonna write off the whole show mm-hmm. just because that one, this one episode, they weren't as entertaining, mm. you know? But I mean, I I agree though. Like, I think in general, kanji members aren't very like suited for. Not suited, but like they're not that as good on variety yeah, as Hiragana. Maybe they're just tired, dude. Shit. You just need uh, I mean, the, the Sheeta laughs to carry the show through, dude. I can just tell from like looking at some of them that they're like really burnt out. You know, they're just mm. like, uh, fuck. Because, yeah, it's like it's all the behind the scenes stuff that you see is like they're like all obnoxious, stupid little kids, right? And it's like fun. Like, that's the kind of you like that's the side you'd like to see but obviously it's like yeah maybe it could be just they're tired by the time that they actually have to record the show i mean we don't yeah, know they can't how be long, like that every time. yeah we don't know how long they're in the studio or what time they get there you know it's probably yeah. early because uh what odinana having to go to school that one time dude <laughs> like oh yeah uh-huh. it's like uh they also usually don't rotate right like mm-hmm. nogizaka can do that shit all the time mm-hmm. um you can you know you can sub out or like Mayan won't be there, but it's like it's still. But Ash is there, and then they like yeah, switch yeah, them out. Yeah, but it's still Nogichu, and it's still the same feel, right? Like if it's still half Nogizaka. Of, yeah, if it, if half of Kanji Kiyaki wasn't there and they shot like this episode, they would have been like, yeah, what the hell? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, they've probably gotten close to being like half members are only there, right? Yeah, yeah. At points, but eh, you know, it was nice to have you know, have the luxury of having less members and mm-hmm. switching them out mm. it was nice to have like as close to everyone back on the show though right just mm-hmm. sans tetchy yeah but, uh... they're all busy now yeah. uh, at least this episode was fairly memorable yeah watch the hidden camera thing that's the, yeah that's it's super fun of them. um so nogichu is nogizaka show it's a little like third gen thing like their families sent in like photos and like random i guess trivia about third gen members Mm -hmm. and so you know they did like a whole uh picture slideshow when they were babies and stuff Mm -hmm. like uh, yeah asian asian babies they're cute 
um, and they're like, oh, wh- what did you girls like? Like, they asked the senior members. And Nana says, like, ah, I like Hazuki's photos. So they made fun of her and shit, but she wasn't even there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just talking like, behind her back. Yeah. I like how some of the members, some of the third gen members, like, when they were showing their pictures, some of them had, like, five pictures or, like, a lot of pictures. And there was, like, I, like what sticks on my mind is like Umazawa just had like one picture real quick and then like left yeah <laughs> some like, of them only had one that's probably like all the mom could find <sighs> that's all I can have. <laughs> you can have it I guess you can use it uh, and then the, the other part is like the, I guess their family is like yo did, did you know you, they could do this shit they're really good at this they, they've never shown it on TV though so like uh, Kubo that, that reminds me of, of what Nogizaka used to do like where like the parents would like call in and everything and then be like oh she's really good at that watch try it and she's like no i don't want to do that in front of the camera <laughs> see i thought this was going to be like dirt on the third gens mm. but it was a little bit more wholesome than i thought it was going to be <laughs> but like kubo did her like pencil stacking thing I, she's done this on no nogi bingo, nogi bingo right? yeah mm. yeah she stacks fen- pencils on her face but like shitara keeps making her laugh yeah <laughs> And they're like, please don't make me laugh. And she like she says that to Himura. He's like, I'm just standing here though. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. They're not like, oh Takayama, try it. And she's like, she's like, Kazuma's oh, trying God. it. She has like, you know, she tries to make the same face, where like she, they stack the first pencil, and they're like, dude, look at your chin. Look at all the wrinkles. <laughs> she's like, I'm supposed to do this and, and, uh, and look cute. It's like I can't look cute doing this shit. Like, and then. uh like she couldn't do it it's like ah muzukashi ah muzukashi <laughs> he, he was like don't say that <laughs> he got all mad and stuff mm-hmm. uh, Sakaguji can do some hangal oh yeah that was pretty good that was pretty good. Really good she's like like Mr. Bean dude. I know yeah <laughs> <laughs> and they're like damn she was like yo I only do this in front of my mom mm-hmm. it's like ah, do it on well, TV what, what did she do she went like this so... she like pushes down her forehead <laughs> It was pretty good, man. I've never seen that style. Mm-hmm. But busting out a new move, dude. I like it. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> word. And then uh, Christy, apparently Christy studied to be an esthetician, a beautician or whatever the hell. Mm-hmm. You know, mis- that face massaging and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was taking, like, classes or whatever. Was like, oh, yeah, do it to Himura-san. And she's, like, doing her thing. But Shitara keeps coming in and, like, slapping his face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Like in the middle, he's like, ah, ah. he goes, he's like, ah. jabbing his throat. Yeah, he's like, he's yeah, like, what kind of, <laughs> what kind of shop, what kind of place is this? Yeah. And then at the end, it's like, ah, this is my treasures. It was like from their moms or whatever, but they only mentioned Nakamura Reno. Like apparently she used to be in a baby magazine. Oh. And then like Yoda's mom was like, ah, oh, look, guys, it's the letter that. Yoda was writing to herself 10 years later and shit when she was like in middle school or whatever mm. and the letter was like oh you're probably not married or have a boyfriend but <laughs> do your best Yoda Yuki <laughs> <laughs> and there's other shit it's like oh please don't be wasteful with your money and shit like that and Yoda starts crying I don't know what I'm crying this is weird <laughs> <laughs> what is it about Hawaii? it says something about Hawaii I don't remember. Was it something like... I don't, I don't remember. Oh, it was like, uh, take your grandma to Hawaii or some shit mm. like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, oh, make sure to do that. And she was like, oh, I will. <laughs> Wiping her tears off and shit. You know, she's like, you know, I'm some batu. I didn't give my grandma money. I can live by right. myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, grandma, please. So, yeah, that's uh, Nogachu. Mm-hmm. Next week, we'll have... Nope. No, we won't. I, th- uh, I was going to say next week we'll have KO Bingo, but we won't. KO Bingo won't start until the 16th. No. Six- yeah, 16th. So we will talk about so it. So we will have it. So we will. Ah, shit. It'll be the day before <laughs> this comes out. Yeah. So two I was thinking it us. airs on Wednesdays. Yeah. Okay, we will have KO Bingo. All right. It begins, so ready dude. for more highlights. It begins. We'll have to just uh-huh. skim through everything. Uh, the next show, Yoshimoto Zaka 46. Uh, oh. No, I got no highlights from that. I actually oh. watched the first episode. I know, I did too. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I mean, I watched it, but... Yeah, it's not really anything to highlight. It's just yeah. them telling to... the comedians yeah. that they're doing this thing. And the comedians yeah. are like, is this a joke? What What the hell is yeah. this? Like, and that's like, the episode. <laughs> yeah, and it's just various people saying the same thing. 
<laughs> until Akipi shows up and he's like, "This is real, boys," and they're mm-hmm. like, "What? What?" I like how they all react the same way. Like, they all stand up and point like, yeah. immediately. <laughs> it's that uh, so Yoshimoto like, pro training, dude. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, we'll see. I guess. I think this week's Yoshimoto show has comments from Kiaki and Nogizaka and stuff. Mm. So there you go. So don't get mad at us because we don't cover Yoshimoto. <laughs> we, we, I mean, if it gets more involved, then we'll probably have. Then yeah, maybe for sure. yeah. you know. Mm. But for now, that was it. I just told you the whole. The whole yeah, show. That, that, that was... so we technically are covering it. That's that's all there is to cover, dude. Uh, yep. Uh huh. That's it. I've done my job. <laughs> All right, well, that is everything that's been the weekly Variety Show Roundup. Uh, we've increased by 1.5, dude, times. Oh, uh-huh. um, but yeah, and that's all the topics for today. Fairly slow news week, but uh, I still had fun. You guys have fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, make sure that you like, subscribe, leave a little comment about what you thought about uh, what are you looking, most looking forward to in Sugai Yuka's photo book? Um, and the answer to that is The Slums of Paris. Of course. Fishnets. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. Smeared lipstick. Mm. Mm. Yeah, make Garbage sure you check kids. us out on uh, all of the various ways. If you don't watch it via YouTube, you can always find us on uh, iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. Uh, follow us on Twitter at slope underscore podcasts. And as always, you can find us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the slow podcast. I have been, I have been Jimmy and I will be Jimmy. And these oh. are my esteemed colleagues and friends and co-hosts, Josh and Boy Coon. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Slow podcast signing out. Goodbye. Now on to the weather. <laughs> Misa. <laughs>